Hi guys, in this video, we're going to have a look at the transitions that are included with the toolkit and how we can basically change from one scene to the other. So for this purpose, I have this scene set up and they also have another scene set up in here, which is this scene, scene two, which is basically just this scene duplicated in here and I've put in some new elements in it. So let's see how we would transition from this scene to the other scene. So to do this, I'm simply going to bring in scene number two on top of, over here. Make sure that it is, it is always on top the scene that you want to transition to and place it where you would like it to, to start basically. So I'm going to place it at around 11 seconds right over here. And right now you can see that it doesn't have any transitions. So to add a transition, I'm simply going to zoom up a little bit in here to see properly. Then I'm going to go to the transitions and drag and drop a new transition right over here. Ma match the start of them so that they match exactly in here, like this. And then after this, as you can see now, this transition is quite large. This is because these transitions are designed in 4K, but in this case I'm using it in Full HD, so I need to simply scale it down. I'm going to scale it down to 47% so that it fits correctly. And now as you can see, it's showing in black and I don't want that, I wanted to show the new scene instead so I'm simply going to go click on this scene to make sure that the transition is on top you can hide the transition from here, from the icon and then from track mat in here you're going to choose either alpha mat or alpha inverted mat it depends on the transition that you are using so let's try alpha inverted and as you can see now it is working properly in here so it's transitioning to the new scene, just like that. Now, in some cases, you might not have this track mat part available. In that case, just toggle this, which is right over here. Now, in some other cases, for, for instance, in scene, in transition two, you might need to use alpha mat instead of alpha inverted. So let's try that. Let's just simply switch this with transition two. I'm clicking on both transitions and holding alt on my keyboard and just drag and drop it over it. And now I can see that this is working the opposite way. So we're just switching in there and then transitioning after it. So in this case, I'm going to change to alpha mat. And as you can see now, it is working properly. So that's basically it. That's how you would transition from one scene to the other. And now finally, we're going to render the project. So we're going to set the area that we want to render. So this is good. In here, let's set the work area to there. And then simply go, I'm going to go to composition and you can either go to add to render queue or add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Now, since we don't have characters that are still being animated, etc., we only have the exports from those animations. We can go ahead and add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. So the Adobe Media Code that you has opened up in here, and now I'm just going to give, give it a format. So let's choose, I'm going to choose age to x4, and this seems good. Export audio, if you, if you have imported any audio or me, you can set that to on. And then usually I just click, use maximum render quality and make, maybe increase a little bit this one to 25, for instance, also, of course, give it its output destination. So let's put an export in here. Save and OK. Then we're going to click the start queue and it will start rendering our, our scenes.